Thank you, Mr. Hirschman. Our next witness is Mr. Mike Anderson. He's the president of the Essential Mortgage Company in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Mr. Anderson is a 30-year veteran in the mortgage industry. He is testifying on behalf of the National Association of Mortgage Brokers, which represents the interests of mortgage brokers and home buyers. Okay. Thank you. I have a little opening statement. Small businesses in the financial service arena are under tremendous risk, and we need your help. And good afternoon, Chairwoman Velasquez and Ranking Member Graves and members of the committee. I'm Mike Anderson. I'm a certified residential mortgage specialist and vice chairman of the Government Affairs Committee of the National Association of Mortgage Brokers. I'm also a practicing mortgage broker in the state of Louisiana with over 30 years of experience. I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to testify today. We applaud this committee's response to the current problems in our financial markets. We share a resolute commitment to a simpler, clear, and uniform and valid approach relative to financial products, most specifically with regard to obtaining mortgages and to protecting consumers throughout the process. NAM has several areas of concern with the CFPA. It is impossible to have one large agency develop and maintain comprehensive consumer protections. Consumer protection needs to exist at the state level, closer to the consumers. As proposed, the CFPA will favor big business. It will choose winners and losers, and the losers will be the small businesses and consumers. Before I address our overall concerns, I must first extinguish the false allegations targeted at mortgage brokers for many years. First of all, brokers do not create loan products. We do not underwrite the loan or approve the borrower for the loan. We do not fund the loan. We provide a consumer with an array of choices and permit them to choose the loan, and loan payments that fit their particular needs and to provide an on-time closing. When we are regulated, state regulated mortgage brokers and lenders comply with state and federal consumer protection laws, including state predatory lending laws. Federally chartered banks are preempted from these predatory lending laws. And lastly, we did not receive any TARP funds. The typical mortgage broker of today exists as an origination channel for consumers who wish to purchase or refinance their home. Mortgage brokers typically employ anywhere from two to 50 people, and they serve communities big and small, urban and rural, in all 50 states, truly classifying them as a valuable small business entity. In order for the CFPA to be effective, it must act prudently when propagating and enforcing rules to ensure that rural protections are afforded to consumers and not merely provide the illusion of protection that comes from incomplete or unequal regulation of similar product services or providers. Whereas financial reform is to promote transparency, clarity, simplicity, accountability, and access in the market for consumer financial products and to ensure the markets operate fairly and efficiently. It is imperative that the creation of new disclosures or the revision of the antiquated disclosures be achieved through an effective and even-handed approach and consumer testing. It is not the who, but the what that must be addressed to ensure true consumer protection and success with this initiative. There should be no exemptions from consumer protections, whether the CFPA is created or not. The federal government should not, and I repeat, should not pick winners and losers is where we believe the federal reform is heading. We are very supportive of the concepts of a proposed, a single, integrated model disclosure for mortgage transactions that combine those currently under TILA and RESPA. Consumers will greatly benefit from a uniform disclosure that clearly and simply explains critical loan terms and costs. Therefore, NAM strongly encourages this committee to consider imposing a moratorium on the implementation of any new regulations or disclosures issued by HUD and the Federal Reserve Board for at least a year until financial modernization has become law. This will help to avoid consumer confusion 
and minimize the increased cost and the unnecessary burden borne by industry participants to manage and administer multiple significant changes to the mandatory disclosures over a short period of time. NAM strongly supports the concept of mandating a comprehensive review of the home uh, of the new and existing regulations, including the Home Value Code of Conduct, the HVCC. Too often, in the wake of our current financial crisis, we have seen two new rules promulgated that do not reflect measured balance and effective solutions to the problems facing our markets Ms. and consumers. Mr. Anderson, time is 